Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.5 without using Cubic Ninja. This method is very easy, it should only take a couple of minutes. I make homebrew videos like this, modding videos and homebrew news videos all the time. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Now let's get started. The first thing you have to do is open up system settings. Then on the bottom right corner of the top screen, you should see your 3DS firmware version. If your firmware version is above 11.5, check the video description for the full firmware compatibility list. Also, while you're in system settings, you're going to want to set the language of your 3DS to English. Now on your computer, go to the Homebrew Launcher website and download the Homebrew Starter Kit. Save it to your desktop, then extract it. Now you're going to want to copy these two files to the root of your 3DS SD card. When the files have finished copying, eject the SD card and put it back into your 3DS. If you're using the micro SD card management software like I am, just press close on your 3DS when the files have finished copying to safely close the connection. Now on your 3DS, open up the Nintendo eShop. We're going to be downloading a game with an exploit in it, just like Cubic Ninja, but this one's free. In the search bar, just search for RPG, then scroll along to RPG Maker Player. Download RPG Maker Player, then we can move on to the next step. When it's finished downloading, go back to the home menu, then open the game. You also have to make sure you have the right game version. Check the video description for a list of the supported game versions. Once you're in the game, tap start, then tap download content. We're going to be downloading some free DLC.
After you've downloaded the free DLC, go back to the title screen and tap Download Games. Agree to the following prompts, then make a username and enter it into the box. Tap Download Posted Products, then tap Search Product ID. Now you're going to enter the product ID which has the exploit inside. Make sure you use a product ID which matches your 3DS model and region. I have some product ID codes in the description. Use the right one for your 3DS. If the codes in the description stop working, just go to Twitter and search hashtag getrpwng. This will show a list of the latest working codes. Make sure you choose the right one which should be mentioned somewhere in the tweet. When you found the right code, enter it into your 3DS, then tap confirm. Download the game using the product ID, then go back to the title screen. Tap Game Play, then choose the game that you just downloaded. I have two games because I tried this earlier, but you should only have one. Now all you have to do is run the game and Homebrew should open. You can see on our first try the game crashed, so let's open the game again and run the same game from the list. And that's it, you've homebrewed your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.5 without needing Cubic Ninja. To exit the homebrew launcher, just press the start button, then press the A button and you'll be kicked back to the home menu. You can open the homebrew launcher whatever you want from now, just go back into the game and launch the game that you downloaded. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video. If you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below. 
and I'll feature your channel in the video if your idea gets chosen.